What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today I've got a mail day in front of you guys. Um, haven't done one in a couple weeks, so I figured I'd go ahead and let it build up and I've got some stuff to show off, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, first one here is a pickup from eBay. Got this for really cheap. Cracked Ice Mariota. Uh, unfortunately, he got he and the Titans got uh, pounded by the Patriots this past weekend, but they did surprise and they did get into the playoffs so um, this was like a dollar plus shipping so I couldn't pass it up on auction so gotta get them cracked dices because they are awesome um, and then this here was a player lot of Ricky Williams uh, I think that these are all first and second year cards maybe like one or two non first or second year cards but this was like a 99 cent lot plus shipping so I couldn't pass it up um, started out here with a Fleer Tradition um, rookie card I looked all of these over and I don't think any of them are really gradable but either they're off centered or there's some chipping in the corners and all that kind of stuff but it's still cool to have all these um, rookie cards really so it's from 99 upper deck uh, I don't know what's is that a subset or anything I think it's just the regular upper deck um, then we got a couple uh, tops draft pick um, blue and green parallels. I don't think either of them are numbered, but still cool. Um, that's actually a season opener, sorry. So that's a little bit more rare, I would assume. Um, and we got a Bowman Chrome. Scout's Choice. Uh, I don't know what uh, set this is. It just says just 99, so I don't know haven't seen too much from that product. This is also from that same product. But it's a nice clean card. Um, then we got some upper deck. I think this is also a rookie. Um, Strike Force is the insert set. And then we got a highlight reel from Upper Deck as well. That's an insert set, obviously. That's, I think, a 2000, so that's a second year card. But, and then these, I believe, are both rookies. So, yeah, this is from UD. Uh, this is the Myriad insert. Awesome, awesome looking card. And then from Collector's Edge, Future Legends. So what do you guys think? Do you think that um, Ricky's a Hall of Famer? I think if he wouldn't have retired and played a couple more years, I think, or if he wouldn't have, have retired and then came back, and if he would have played those couple of years, I think he probably would be in uh, consideration. But no, I think a few of the off-the-field problems with the marijuana and stuff back then, it kind of hurts his chances, even though it's not a big deal at all. But I think he's very borderline. I don't think he'll get in, but... Um, Anyway, and then these next uh, eight or nine cards, maybe, I got from a guy on eBay called Two Bros. He's, he's a really uh, sweet seller on eBay. It's a pretty cool looking business card, too. Um, all of his stuff is pretty cheap. I think everything is 50 cents uh, shipping, and I think he has sales going on like 20% or free shipping over $20 or something like that every time, so... He's always got deals going, and I think I got this whole stack here of cards for like 20-some bucks shipped, so. This is a Griffey from 2017 Bowman's Best. It's the, the refractor. We got the base hollow of Rivers from this year's Optic. Uh, the blue 1983 or 7, I don't know what year that's from, but it's to 149 there on the back. Got a playoff ticket from this year's contenders to 249. Then a few from Unparalleled that I needed. Uh, these are not numbered except for this one back here. This is the Green Wind Chimes parallel. And then this is the regular common base. Actually, maybe it's not. I think this is called, yeah, it's called uh, Mega Moon Lava. So. And then this, what is this called? Small Hyper Plaid. It's numbered to 199 so nice card there. 
Then we got a couple from Prism that I needed for the rainbow. Um, got purple crystals or cracked ice, whatever. I prefer cracked ice because it just sounds cooler. So, sweet card there, number to 75. And then a, a green scope. These are two ninety nine. dollars So, pretty good gets in my opinion for a little over 20 bucks. The next up, we got a Brady Quinn autograph. Uh, being a, a Notre Dame fan, I, I figured I'd, I'd try and get an autograph of his. I've been looking over the months and years here and finally decided to scoop one up. I think that this was like five bucks shipped in a mag. Pretty sweet deal there, so happy with that. This card here was from a break a weekend or two ago at my LCS. I ended up trading for it. Uh, I had the Titans and traded a few cards for it, so just a base card from this year's Illusions. And then we got these two, which were eBay pickups. Um, Crusade, out of Rookies and Stars. That's to 99. Sweet card there. And then we got Red Optic. So we got Red Crusade and then Red Optic. These are also 299, so. Working towards those sets. And then we've also got a couple PSA cards. First up, this is a second year Derek Rose. Um, Gem Mint 10 out of Upper Deck Masterpieces. So nice canvas look to that card there. Really cool. This was like maybe $2.99 plus shipping, so couldn't pass it up. And then this here, this, this is just sweet. This was like five bucks plus shipping. Uh, Mike Vick Crystal Atomic Refractor, or Cracked Ice, as I like to call it. Um, Gem Mint 10. Sweet, sweet card for really cheap. So uh, whenever I see these of my favorite players pop up and they're really cheap on auction, I can't pass them up. So, And then finally, we got a deal that I worked out on Instagram. Uh, a guy hit me up on one of my previous vi um, videos here on YouTube and hit me up and said that he uh, had pulled this red prism from this year's prism. These are out of the retail boxes and I think they're really, really rare. I think that they're numbered to like five or six maybe, so yeah, they're not printed on the back or anything, but that's what P Penny tells us anyway. So here is his info. Go ahead and follow him on Instagram or eBay. Um, yeah. Thank you for the for the deal. So, got that for like ten bucks. So, pretty sweet deal there. That'll do it, guys. Thanks for watching. I actually just hit one thousand subscribers this weekend. So, thank you to everybody who has watched and subscribed over the last year and a half of, of me doing this. It really means a lot. Um, you know, getting to one hundred was pretty cool. So, you know, getting to one thousand is even more crazy to me. Like I said, I will be doing a giveaway. Uh, look out for that announcement coming up here in the next couple weeks. Um, it will be a hobby box. I will let you guys decide. I'll put a poll up on one of my videos here in the coming week or two. Um, and I'll let you guys decide. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys two boxes. And I'll let you guys vote for it. And we will do a giveaway for that. So we'll look out for that. And in the meantime, hope you guys have a good week. And thanks for watching.